Good morning. Today is Friday, May 8th, and here's a look at today's assignments. Go ahead and check in as always. What zone are you in today? How are you feeling? It's Friday, so you've made it another week. I'm going to finish reading Ready Freddy Homer Castles today. So if you're enjoying it, go ahead and listen in. Readers Workshop. So you've been reading a lot of books this week um, in your stamina read, as well as um, re reading in our fairy tales of Cinderella, the different versions. So today is Friday's Book Reflection. So readers reflect on their weekly reading by writing a book reflection, sharing their favorite part of their book that they've read this week. That can be a book that you've read. That can be a book that I've read to you. Um, it really depends on what you have enjoyed. So go ahead and tell what your favorite part was of your favorite story throughout this week. Record on your reading log. Remember to get into Lexia, please. Those awards will be coming out on Tuesday in our Google Meet, so try to level up. You can review the revise and edit video for your writing. I just made a couple little reminders here on your last day to revise and edit. Make sure you're rereading your story, what would make it more interesting, add to your story, take away from your story, change your story, um, make it better so that the reader is really interested in reading it until the end. So you have a few slides to do this. Our warm up today is target number. So our target number today is 19 and our numbers to create that equation are one, two, four, six, and nine. So how many different ways can you make 19 using those numbers? Remember, you can do subtraction, addition, multiplication, a combination of those. You can get creative um, and really as, um, you know, promote your critical thinking as far as you can. So as deep as you can go would be great. And today we're going to have some time just to get on Freckle. So we're going to call it Freckle Friday. A lot of you haven't been um, logging in and I want you to really try to Get on that today for about 20 minutes or so, 20 to 30 minutes. Practice those skills. Challenge yourself to see how many coins you can earn for the piggy store. And maybe you can dress up your pig today in some really, really cool clothes. <coughs> Science today, we're finishing up with diversity of living things. And I know that we, uh, right before break or shortly before break, we took a field trip to the Aquarium of the Pacific we didn't get to see a whole lot there because our time was a little bit limited, but they are doing some really neat um, interactive sessions with different animals, different trainers. And so I did find one about penguins. And this is again, coming directly from the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach. So I want you to go ahead and enjoy the video on the left-hand side. Now, this was done live, and I want you to know that this is not a live version. This is a YouTube version. So it does say at the beginning that you can text in your questions, um, but we can't do that because, again, this is not live. So just watch for your own enjoyment, and then um, maybe list a couple of things that you learned about the penguins and their characteristics or their habitat. And I hope you really enjoy this. Um, this would have been something we would have done at the aquarium had we had more time to listen in on those interactive um, sessions. So here we go. What did you learn about penguins or their habitat? And then I gave you a couple optional art lessons today. Um, again, Sunday, so just a couple days, is Mother's Day. So here are a couple things that you might be able to draw and create for your mom. How to draw a folding surprise. So it's going to uh, say mom on the top of your paper and you're going to open it up and it's going to be a bouquet of flowers. So that's something you might want to make for your mom your grandma or your aunt. And also on the right hand side is how to draw a best mom bubble letters. So perhaps that might be a card that you make and maybe the folding surprise can be a gift. Um, it's up to you. You don't have to do this, but if you choose to do it, you can choose one or both and then maybe present it to your mom on Sunday. All right. Uh, make sure that you clean up as always. Keep your space tidy, just like as if we were in the classroom at Loma Vista. All right, guys, have a wonderful weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms and grandmoms out there. And uh, we'll see you on Monday.